dinner for each hit tonight. It is hoisin glazed pork tenderloin with Asian rice salad. Now the funny thing about this is we've had a bunch of Mexican food, so I decided I did not want Mexican, so I was going with an Asian flair, Googled Asian recipes. This came up and I was like, that sounds good. Bookmarked it, went back and looked at my bookmarks, bookmarked it two other times, and I have made this for him before. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm doing right now quickly is toasting the sesame seeds, put them in a pan over medium heat, three to five minutes. Don't let them stick, they'll scorch. So just till they get a little golden brown, they'll be ready to take off in just a second. Right here is a pork tenderloin. So I've already got it covered with the stuff, but the first step is to salt and pepper it and then cover it with hoisin sauce. Then you're gonna bake it 15 to 25 minutes in a 425 degree oven. While that's baking, you're gonna go and you're gonna make your salad and your sauce that's gonna go on it. So that's what I'm doing tonight. These are pretty, pretty good, so I'm gonna take those off. I did not measure out my hoisin sauce, but the recipe calls for a half a cup. I just smeared it all over my uh, pork tenderloin, and there's what we have. Put this in the oven for 15 to 25 minutes until the internal temperature reaches 145. And in the meantime, you're going to prepare your salad, your rice salad, which is one and a half cups water and one cup of rice. Bring it to a boil. You know, package, package directions on rice preparation. I am an absolutely horrible rice cooker. I never, ever, ever seem to get it fluffy or moist. It's always dry. The recipe calls for Persian cucumbers. They did not have them. I ended up with an English cucumber, wax beans, cilantro, roasted peanuts, and I'm gonna put some Napa cabbage with mine too. So you just slice up these, you cut these. You only need three ounces of wax beans, so you cut them on a bias and you mix them all up. Okay. The recipe calls for toasted sesame oil, which you can find that. It is, there is toasted sesame oil at the store. Two, ta two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, one tablespoon of fresh lime juice, and two tablespoons of ponzu. You just um, whisk these uh, oils and sauces together, the juice, oil, and sauce together, and then you're gonna add the vegetables to it. That's all you do. For the rice salad, I'm just cooking a cup of jasmine rice to, as the package says, you do the sesame oil, the lime juice, and the ponzu sauce, or ponzu juice, I guess. Then you add all of your vegetables into it your cucumbers, cilantro, wax beans, a quarter cup of roasted peanuts, and your sesame seeds, and one red chili. This is a scorpion pepper. It's the only red ones they had at the particular store I went to. Um, that's gonna probably provide a little color plus a little heat to the recipe because everything in the uh, salad, the rice salad, as you can see, is green. And again, you just mix the oil, juice, and ponzu together. Then you add the rest of your ingredients to it and stir it up. And that is the extent, basically, of your rice salad. I, like I said, I'm gonna slice up some Napa cabbage and put underneath it too, because I kinda like that. But anyway, that's all there is to this meal. And once again, this recipe is hoisin glazed pork tenderloin. You get a pork tenderloin, salt and pepper it, put a half a cup of hoisin glaze on it, put it in the oven at 425 for 15 to 25 minutes until um, internal thermometer comes out at 145 degrees. While your pork tenderloin is baking, you make your jasmine rice salad. So the recipe calls for one cup jasmine rice. I went ahead and made just a regular uh, recipe, one cup of rice uncooked to one and a half cups water and the sauce is toasted sesame oil, ponzu, and lemon juice. You whisk those all together, add the rest of the stuff to it, toss it up, and plate it. So, the recipe calls for Persian cucumbers. I went with an English cucumber because I could not find Persian. A quarter cup of 
roasted peanuts chopped, a half a cup of cilantro torn, and a tablespoon of sesame seeds, then some more to serve to put on top, and then one red chili chopped up. And again, the chili that I put in there made it a lot of heat, and you can see it get, gave it a little bit of color too. A little bit of red in between there. Um, the only thing different I did was I finally sliced up or cut up a Napa cabbage, put it under everything. I put a little more of the uh, sauce on top of it, put the rice on top, um, made some more <laughs> sauce to cover the rice, put the pork tenderloin on top and covered the pork tenderloin with sesame, toasted sesame seeds. And that's all you do. It's a really fast, pretty simple recipe. And a really good uh, blend of kind of sweet and spicy. Can so, we eat this now? Yes, we can eat. <laughs> Which any of you are worried about it, I do eat well here at, uh, at Contentment. Robber is an awesome cook. And in fact, I'm too contented sometimes. i got to calm down because I would overeat and then I would be a sickly person. She's such a good cook. But this is awesome, Robert. It's very good. Thank Usual. You.